Hello everybody out there. This is Vagabond Zero and today as you can see <clears throat> I got a, a package in the mail that's from Hobbyland Japan. Now I ordered some of course mostly kits and some figures. So I'm just gonna start showing you off each one. Now right now in Hobbyland Japan they have um, some kind of big sale but they don't have um they barely have any stuff for Gundam, but they did have one that I saw, and you know, I grabbed it at once. <clears throat> Which is the the 1100 Hellbuster Gundam. Now I grabbed it because of, um, I do like the Buster Gundam, and I kind of like how this one looks, you know, it has more weapons and such. And as you can see right here, here's some of the, um, some extra weapons and such, and so yeah, grab that guy. It was um, it was ten bucks. So yeah, the original price was twenty five hundred yen, so it's like twenty five dollars. But I got it for ten bucks, so that's cool. The next one is a a. Pretty much a um, high grade, which is from Endless Waltz, which is an Otaku. And like I said before, um, I never um, when he when he um, came out around the stores, the one from Endless Waltz, I never bought any of them. So I kind of regret um, not getting them. But now I can't, I'm pretty much uh, trying to get the um, whole set, both the 144 and the 100. So I got that. I got the uh, pretty much no grade 144 uh, uh, mobile sumo from the Eternate series. This is actually the silver version. And of course, it was like 600 yen, so it's like 6 bucks. And next up is a um, another one for this watch, which is the Death Side uh, Hell Custom. But um, this one's actually a special uh, special version. It's actually the um, clear and metallic version, which I'm also uh, I'm also trying to get um, all of them. I'm missing um, Tali's three and Nataku. So yeah, got that guy. And also right here another one, which is the. From Ants Walls again. This is uh, the Sandrock Custom. It's also the um, uh, clear metallic version. So, yeah. Now, next up is the. It went from another one from the Turn A series, which is the Turn X. Now, they still haven't said they're ever going to make a high grade of it, so I just got this one at once. You know, and um, when I do get the um, turn a high grade, so you can see right there, and of course it was like six hundred yen. There's some more shots of it. And of course, another one for this was and again, Sandra Customs. Except this is the um, like the um, regular edition. And I know with this uh, this one forty uh, one uh, forty four one, uh, this one actually comes with the um, a shield, as you can see right there, which was never seen in the um, in the um, OVA or movie. So yeah, and if you and if the one one hundred actually comes with the um, the um, cloak that you see uh, Samurai wear um, the, uh, when he first appears. And another one right here, which is the another one from NS Waltz, the Heavy Arms Custom. Again, 1144 scale. This is the regular version. I also have the, um, the clear metallic version.
And again, uh, another one, another sumo said this is the gold version. 144, of course. You can see right there. And eventually, once, uh, once um, this one popped up in uh, G, uh, Gundam Bill Fighters, everybody wanted to get one, uh, one of these. So, of course, they made a reissue of them. And, of course, it's like 600 yen. And now, um, again, it's the same, it's the same, uh, quote-unquote model, but this one is the 1 or 100 scale. This is actually the, um, the, um, golden sumo. And I do believe this one is actually gold. Actually gold-plated. And this one went for, uh, goes for, like, 2,500 yen. You can see right there. Let's just take a quick look inside of it. Yeah, as you can see right there. Gold chrome parts have to be very care have to be careful with uh, with the num marks when I build it. And next up is um um type of kits I wanted to get since forever, which is the frame arms. Now I got this one because it looks like a samurai. And plus, it comes with um, the uh, first release comes with um, special clear parts. You can see right there. Uh, this one's called the Magatu uh, uh, Magatsuki. Magatsuki. I hope I got that right. Of course, the um, inner frame is already built, but the rest of the stuff you have to um, you have to you know uh, cut it from the um, trees and everything and do it yourself. Of course, here here you can see it. Looks pretty cool. You can see it kind of stripped down most uh, so half of its armor and plus its weapons. So yeah, that's gonna be something interesting once um, I get around to making it. And I also bought another one. This one is called the uh, um, a Duraga uh, Duraga One. Kind of looks like a kind of like a jester or a knight. And of course, because it's the first release, it's a uh, first release. It also, it also comes with clear parts. You can see right there. See right there, it kind of looks like a something of a knight. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And... The next thing I got was actually not for me. It's actually for somebody. Which is a, a little Winnie the Pooh figure. It's only like, it was on sale in the, um... And the big Hobby Link Japan sale that's uh, still going on now. So it's like three bucks. So I just got it and got it. And next up is a uh, figure that was on sale that I always been that went on sale in the um, big sale thing. That I always wanted to get, which is the the uh, Player Sky um, Batman. This is actually the um, limited color version. This is actually color red instead of the um, kind of gold ye uh, yellow um, that you see in the regular version. So you can see right there. If you can, that is. See? Nice red color. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, uh, the Batman Beyond um, suit. So yeah, I got that guy. He was on sale. The original price was like 80 bucks or something like that. But I got him for like 57. So yeah. And next up is a um a, a magazine, of course. Um it came out just came out uh, recently. Or should I say last month? It's um, Gundam Ace, and it comes with the um, the Hyper Beam Javelin for the um, high grade um, full armor Unicorn Gundam. Yeah, so I got that. And let me see. I got a. Um, it was on sale. This uh, this thing right here. Let me just take off the um, paper stuff. 
It was a figure at zero from the, um, it was a figure from, um, Aquarian Evo, I think what's it's called, or, um, Evolve, yeah. I like the first series, except I haven't seen the uh, second series yet. I don't know if it's been dubbed or not. Next up is a something that came out two months ago, and it kind of sold kind of quickly. Is the um, um, let me see if it's uh, Hoko um, Hako Vision um, Gundam, the special little box that you um, that you set up and uh, with your um, smartphone, it kind of displays it in a kind of a cool kind of a color show type of way. <clears throat> so again, it's um, ha um, you can probably read it from there if you read if you can read it, Hako. H A K O Vision Gundam. So yeah, look it up and you'll see what I mean. Uh, next up is um a bunch of um paints, uh, little paint mar uh, paint markers that I got. They were on sale. They were like eighty cents each. So I got them. So yeah, I got like four or five of them. And and I also got can't remember what this is. Forgot what this is. Yeah, this is actually the um, what I call the um, Gashpon uh, Gashpon Gundam Next. This is the uh, number tw uh, number twenty set. It says there are um, six different ones in the um, in this in this line, and you get ten of them. So that's why I got ten of them. So yeah, that's it for the um, sh uh, you know showing off what I got in the mail. Uh, hope you enjoy that. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later, and I guess keep on building those condoms. Bye.